friends. Happy Friday. Having another one of these candelas. Uh, Artur Fuente 858. 585. Oh, I'll put it down below. Uh, same, same one I had a few weeks ago. Just craving the candela again. So unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately, I cannot get my dash camera to work today. Um, I brought the wrong SD card and it's not recognizing it and I can't get it to really do anything, so. Let's see how to do with just me today. Sorry. But I say fortunate, perhaps fortunately because you're not really missing anything. The uh, the weather today is uninspiring. It's uh, the sun's trying to come out, but we've had a couple, well, a, well, a full day of rain uh, starting yesterday morning. Uh, rained all day yesterday. Actually, more than that, because it rained all night and and this morning, and it only stops sometime this afternoon. It's almost two full days of rain, and everything's wet and soggy and overcast looking. So you're not missing anything. Oh, so away we go. Just want to get out of this tricky spot here without hitting anything and then I can pay attention to you. Well actually I can't pay attention to you but I can talk to you. So I had a um, an event occur this week that sort of annoyed me at work. Uh, annoyed is maybe too strong a word or maybe not strong enough. So someone that I work with and that I respect uh, was I'm not going to go into any great detail but they, they, they had something that they needed to do and I saw how they were planning to do it and I said that's not going to work and the reason I said that's not going to work is that I've previously done that thing and I know that it doesn't work that way it's got to be done in a particular fashion and at any rate I explained this, I you know, was as careful as I could to try to help this person. And they went ahead and did what they were going to do. And a few a short time later I was having the discussion with them which was, you know, gee I should have listened to you and yeah, that that happens. Uh, and it's not that I'm always right, you know, I'm I'm often wrong. Uh, we live in a world of trial and error, but sometimes you, you need to think about, you know, whether someone's got more experience than you and, and why they're trying to guide you in a particular way. And that's really the thing that I've been thinking about since this event. You know, there's this question of how do we actually know when someone offers us advice that it's advice that we should actually take? Now, how, how do we know? I mean, obviously, we live in a world where we're inundated with advertising, and advertising is a form of advice. It's saying, you know, drink this, eat that, wear this. How do we know what to, what to believe? And more importantly, when a colleague, a coworker, or a friend says, oh, I wouldn't, I'd, I'd consider this. How do we know to listen to them? What goes into making that decision? And I think just to, you know, make it as simple as possible, one of the, one of the, certainly not the only factor, but one of the big factors is where's that person coming from? You know, what is their relationship to me? Why are they trying to give me advice? And to put it very simply, does that person care about me? You know, so when I was younger and my mom or dad tried to give me advice, I wish I was wise enough then to think of it that way. Um, I, I was struck once. I, I was having a conversation. This was this was many years ago. 
went with a friend who was a, an Indian woman. And uh, she was telling me about the, her parents were working on arranging a marriage for her. And, you know, I had the typical Western attitude towards that. I said, well, I just can't imagine somebody else choosing my spouse. Uh, that just seemed so, so foreign to me. And her response really struck me. She said, why would you want anyone other than the two people that love you more than anyone else on the planet to choose the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with? And I thought, you know, that actually makes a lot of sense. Your, your parents aren't going to... They, they have your best interest in mind. And I think that's important to, to think about when, when advice is, is offered. Now, why is this person telling me to do this in this particular way? Are they selling something? Are they trying to get some gain out of it? You know, in the case that I started at the beginning, the work situation, yeah, I did have something to gain, but only through our mutual success, and that was evident. So if this person would have succeeded, I would have succeeded. If they fail, we both fail. So that should add some weight to the advice that I'm giving. I'm not going to lead them wrong because it would hurt me. And you can think about this in a broader context. So, you know, the parent-child relationship is an obvious one, but well, let, let's jump right to the top. I mean, what about the relationship between yourself and, and God? Um, you know, God has suggested that I live in a particular way. I don't see that as necessarily being conducive to my happiness. <laughs> Why should I, I go and, and subject myself to that? I look around and the world is, is very different. And maybe the world has it right and, and God has it wrong. Well, God supposedly loves me and made me to love him. Um, therefore, I should assume that he's got my best interest at heart. Yeah, it's just, I, maybe it's obvious. I, I don't think it is, but maybe it's obvious. But it's just something I've been thinking about. And the more I think about it, the more I realize just how difficult it must be to be going through your, your sort of formative years in this day and age. Because... It's harder to know who to trust. And that's the thing that, that uh, I think is really... Got to keep the window open a bit. It is raining. It's a shame the camera isn't working. You're missing a beautiful splatter of rain on the window. I probably would have turned it off if it was working. <laughs> but, yeah, the, so if you think about it, the world we live in today is very, very different, if, if you're my age, uh, than the world that we grew up in. Um, you know, the world today is different, very, very different than it was five years ago, and some could argue five minutes ago. It, it's, you know, things are changing fast, and technology is just outstripping us all. But the one area that's really, really different is, is this area of how do you, where is your advice coming from? So, and when I was a kid, if I did something stupid or I wanted to do something stupid, my mom or dad would probably say, hey, that's stupid. And I would listen to that uh, to the best of my ability. If they didn't, then probably a grandparent would do it. And if they didn't, then probably someone in the neighborhood would, would step up and say, hey, are you sure you, you want to do that? That's kind of dumb. And I would accept those, it, those advices, not necessarily because I understood where they were coming from and you know, all the other stuff I just talked about. You know, I didn't have that sense as a child of my parents love me and therefore they're thinking of my best interest. But where else was I going to turn for an opinion? 
you know, maybe I wanted to do it, but all these people that presumably know better than me are telling me that I shouldn't do it. That changed my mind. That, that would make me rethink my desire to be stupid and hopefully not be. But today, we live in this world of social media, and it doesn't matter what platform we're talking about. The word friend is used, you know, completely out of context with what it used to mean. And, you know, kids have hundreds if not thousands of social media friends that they can turn to. So, you know, I'm thinking of, you know, the, the kids, I'm thinking of doing such and such and, and the parents say no and they go and post on Twitter or Fritter or whatever the platform might be and, and say, hey, I, I'm thinking about doing so and so and they get, you know, 300 people like it and 200 people respond, yeah, I did that too. And, you know, all of a sudden you've got this global input on your, your decisions and your life. And it's compelling because just because of the volume, you know, how could, how could 300 people say this is good? Sorry. We'll let those trucks pass. How could 300 people tell me my idea is good and my dad tell me it's wrong? Obviously it's good. 300 people can't be wrong. Well, unfortunately, we don't know because we don't know the qualifications of those 300 people, and more importantly, we don't know their motivations and, and their, the reason why they're trying to advise us one way or the other. And I think that's a really dangerous place to be. And I think it's a confusing place for, for kids to, to be. I don't know, I don't have children myself, but I can just imagine that, you know, when these events come up, they're not turning to their best friend next in the house next door or to their, you know, three friends in their class. They're, they're turning to the world and they're opening themselves up to all this information. But there's no way to vet the information. And I think we're worse off for that. You know, I think this globalization, while in many ways it's wonderful, you know, I'm sitting here in my car talking and people all over the world are going to see this by the same time tomorrow. That's remarkable. But it's also changing our society in ways that I don't think we're, we're necessarily ready for, or perhaps we just don't realize. So when you hear advice, whether it's try this tobacco, or buy this pipe, or watch this video, think about where it's coming from. You know, what's that person going to gain from it? Is it good to take advice on which tobacco to buy from your tobacconist? I don't know, normally, but he's obviously got a vested interest. We don't trust used car salesmen to tell us which car to buy, or at least we shouldn't. Well, I hope that was worth listening to. You can hear the rain now, I assume, and it's uh, it's a bit dodgy driving, so I'm going to cut this off and focus on getting home safe. So friends, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.